Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to present you what I call the best lollipop ROM you'll ever find for the Galaxy S4 and uh, surprise it's not based on TouchWiz and it's based on Google so this is a GPE ROM or a Google Edition ROM or a ROM that's been made by Google and Samsung, along with Samsung Lips for the Samsung Galaxy S4 Google Edition which is i9505G stands for Google okay um, I will tell you why is this in my opinion the best uh, lollipop ROM and why it's currently not only the best lollipop ROM but the fastest ROM I have ever tested along with a taste of stability and smoothness and of course customization part so i'll get through all of these feature uh in the following moment in the following minutes and this is be kind of a long review so if you want to know how i flashed this uh, uh this on my phone you'll need to check out the card over there because it's a universal way on how to do it with the following uh, statements because uh, this ROM is maintained by Last Tangent Droid. I'll put I'll put a link in the description right down below with the XD8 thread, and uh, it is actually an untouched version of uh, the Google firmware, if you want to say like that, if you want to call it like that. So untouched mean means that it is uh, unrooted. It doesn't have any kind of busy boxed busy box installed on it by default so you'll have to flash them separately so um, I'll, uh, I'll put some instructions right down in the in the description on how to install it along with the card right uh, next to me so after you got this on your device you'll notice that it is actually based on Android 5.1 which I told you that it is Lollipop, so 5.1 Android version, Lollipop, as you may see, and uh, this is uh, not the greatest part of, uh, of this ROM. This ROM is running a GP kernel, Google Play Edition uh, kernel. Of course, in, it's an, an official, uh, of, an, it's an unofficial kernel. Actually, actually, it's not unofficial, it's an official so an official kernel which was made by Google and uh, unfortunately I have to tell you I have searched for a, a lot of kernels for this ROM and I couldn't find any instead uh, except the one the whole kernel which is in beta stage and uh, actually broke uh, broke up my device I couldn't uh, uh, boot it up after I flash it so be aware just uh, stay with the stock kernel because it is fast and smooth enough and I will show you in the following minutes and you don't, just don't have to worry about the kernel this time because this ROM runs perfectly as it is untouched and uh, if you want to use root and the expose installer it's your choice but it runs great by default so you don't have to tweak it so if you want to tweak it like me I want to tweak it I want to tweak ROM a fully customizable ROM so that's why I installed exposed framework which is version 79 exposed v79 sdk 22 which is the lollipop version rm r a r m which is the default uh, processor for platform for the galaxy s4 and of course i'll get into the customization part uh, afterwards so if you if you previously watch my my videos you all know that uh, i'm a touchwiz fan kind of a touchwiz fan which is uh, known for stability not uh, so great in terms of speed and smoothness but stability is rock stable and uh, I was actually running uh, Omega ROM version 40 KitKat based on KitKat 4.4.2 for more than one and a half and right now I have switched to a lollipop ROM so yeah guys I switched to this as you may see all my icons are set here a new life is about to <laughs> you know start for my uh, Galaxy S4 because this ROM is believe me uh, the best 
ROM you could ever flash right now for the Galaxy S4 because it's stable, everything runs smoothly, the camera runs smoothly, um, the ROM is based on Samsung Lips, so yep, it's kind of a stable one, so you don't have to worry about uh, signal drops, phone call, uh, you know, microphone problems and so on. Wi-Fi is working great, you don't have that uh, CM bug regarding Wi-Fi speed and so on. So this is a stable one, believe me. So let's get into the customization part because I wanted to, to tell you something about this. Since it is a Google Edition ROM, let me clear the screen area, the notifications. Since it is a Google Edition ROM, you will get the default, uh, you know, kind of quick tiles and uh, the default uh, battery icon right here and you don't uh, have the ability to change uh, something regarding these uh, these features but if you install expose framework as I did here and uh, you download some modules like uh, uh, advanced power menu plus which will allow you to customize to fully customize these uh, you know these menus here or like gravity box which will will help you, you know, to customize the status bar, you know, for example, if you want to set the clock into center or if you want to hide the clock, as, as you may see, it uh, will do its job. So, yep, that's all about you can do with the customization part. Of course, you have a quick settings management, management. you can uh, add as many tiles as you want here, if you want to have more than stock, uh, stock options. Um, so yeah, everything works flawlessly with uh, with um, the Gravity Box application. Um, and I will show you that uh, Bluetooth is working perfectly, as you may see turned on. Um, you have invert colors if you want to uh, read your screen more easily during a sunny day, during a sunny day outside. You have some information about the temperature of the battery. You have the flashlight, which is working. Uh, GPS options and so on. Compass is, of course, working. If it's not, you just have to wave the phone in an eight figure in order to calibrate it. Okay, so regarding customization part, since it allows uh, exposed framework, and uh, I have to tell you, this ROM is Diodex, so that's why you are able to install Exposed Framework and modify the framework inside the ROM itself. Um, I will give uh, it a strong 10 out of 10, because every, you can customize everything on this device. Not by default, but um, after you install Exposed Framework, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 regarding the customizability features. So, yep, 10 out of 10. Okay, so let's get into the performance part, speed and smoothness. Um, I'll show you how fast apps open up. For example, let's open up, uh, I don't know. Uh, let me show you the camera. This is the default Google camera. You may see, yeah, hello, hello everyone. Um, let me change. It's really hard to manipulate it behind the camera, you know. Um, as you may see, this is how you take a photo. And uh, of, of course, video recording works as well. 1080p without a problem. Um, Google Chrome, clock, let's open up the clock. And uh, busy box calculator. Of course, marshmallow themed. Clock uh, again, Emag, um, yeah. Hangouts, gravity box again, and uh, by far, I have here the recent tap panel, as you may see, which is blazing fast. Take a look at this. Without a single lag, so Samsung may learn from Google in terms of uh, recent tap panel smoothness because every single ROM based on TouchWiz is rubbish at this category. So yeah. Performance and smoothness. Of course, there are some um, some lags from time to time, especially after you open up your device, you'll notice that there is some lag. Um, everything is working properly, so I give it a, a strong um, 
I'd say 8 out of 10 because it, do it doesn't have a custom kernel support. Actually it does, but developers, um, they aren't... There isn't a developer who develops a kernel which is advanced, which is an advanced kernel for this ROM, so it's not really the ROM's fault. So that's why I'll give it a 9 out of 10 in terms of performance. 10 means perfect, so yep, you won't have a perfect smooth Android ROM because yeah, it's Android and lags may occur from time to time. You may see opening apps work uh, works flawlessly and switching back and forth between the apps as you saw earlier. And uh, yeah, let me f let me make a phone call. Let me clear out the no since it is my. Uh, Okay, let's call the carrier mobile, for example, like this. This is how it looks like. Okay, there are some numbers, private numbers, that you don't want to see. So, let's take a look at the notification bar and along with the lock screen, and this is how it looks like. Very beautiful done. This is a minor bug here, a graphical bug. You have your carrier, you know, carrier name not really into this corner right here it's a little bit uh, you know spaced out but you can fix that by uh, you know going into exposed framework exposed installer and download a module called uh, lock screen and it will be something like carrier um Yeah, it should be here. So, yeah, hide carrier label version 2. And I tested it and it uh, completely, it was completely gone afterwards. So yeah, another thing that I should tell you is that GPS is working even better than any, uh, that it was on any Samsung ROM. So it connected completely automatically faster than any Samsung ROM which was great and the accuracy was even great well, about three or two meters yeah test it out in gps status pro so yeah this room is really stable and i'm really glad i found it please thumbs up um, thanks a lot for make sure to thank um last standing droid which is the maintainer of this room and uh, of course the battery life i forgot to show you the percentage of the battery life but at the beginning of the video well i reckon it was about 97 percent or 96 uh, when i st started the video and it is full brightness right now as you may see sync is also activated and i have to tell you i've been running this rom for more than two days and i haven't got any problems with it um in terms of battery life i mean it is normal it seems to be it seems to me that it's draining battery a little bit faster than you would uh, uh, um, than it would do on a KitKat on Omega Vision version 40 for example but I reckon it's because of the fact that I have uh, synchronizing activated synchronizing you know sync on and um, I was mainly browsing through 4G which consumes of course a hell of a lot more battery than on 3G and uh, yeah data is working perfectly if it's not and it's running make sure you check out the APNs and select the ones you like because uh, it uh, for example in orange uh, carrier it will come with uh, two APNs the orange internet and the orange WAP and you'll it by default is selected by with the uh, orange app on orange app and WAP and then uh, I selected orange internet and everything was working uh, uh, pretty pretty fast as you may see play store again blazing fast um really really smooth animations while you know opening uh, some apps yeah of course kernel editor as you see it's a kernel small uh, kernel app that which allow that will allow you to you know switch back and forth between uh, cpu governors like uh, here for example if you want to change from uh, 
on demand to interactive you just have to press s and if you want to set it to set it at boot on boot you just have to click that and everything is working damn fast as you saw so, okay um the main problems of this rom because there are pros and cons as always um i can't actually can't um you know get uh, familiarized with uh, the lack of multi-window um, I will search for some exposed module that will help me uh, you know at least open up some widgets in the same time or override the widgets with the app itself because uh, I use Waze uh, GPS more outsta outstanding traffic along with uh, the power ramp and then uh, you know I need to switch back and forth between songs if I don't like one because it's on shuffle and uh, I don't want to, to open up different uh, applications while driving because it's dangerous so you just have to press a button if it was a widget overriding the Waze application and that was all so yeah I need to find a widget and application like that if you have an idea of what I can download what I could download in order to make it work I would appreciate please make sure you give me your feedback in the in the comments right down below so yeah you asked me what was uh, my uh, beloved rom in terms of lollipop this is the most stable and the most the fastest rom i have i have ever tested uh, in terms of lollipop and uh, if you want a kitkat rom that is really stable i would recommend either omega v40 or um one of light version 3.1 so yeah if you want KitKat, go for one of those. And if you want uh, Lollipop, go for this one because this is really a, gr a really great uh, ROM. Of course, it has um, a really fast charging ability. Believe me, I can't prove it right now because, but uh, it uh, charges up really fast uh, and consumes uh, really, really a low low amount of memory in terms of random access memory i will show you i have more than 1000 and let's say 1000 100 uh, 60 and 60 applications and uh, let me show you in terms of uh, run management running and i will show you that it's running it has one gigabyte of free ROM, and this is great because you will need ram if you want multitasking so that was it for today guys, I hope you liked it, if you did please make sure and uh, to thumbs up my video and subscribe right down to my channel. By doing so you'll keep me motivated doing these kind of videos. Uh, and again a big announcement for you guys, I think I will get the Galaxy S7 when it will arrive on market here and uh, I think it will probably be here uh, in a uh, early April or late March because I heard that it was it will be released uh, before Mobile World Congress in California for something between someone between you know 20 or 30 20 30 February so this was uh, Wicked Android HD thank you for watching guys I'm out take care bye bye